The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. See, brothers, despite all the weakness and the differences we exhibit as people of God, we are all one in Christ. And therefore, we need to bear with one another, working hard to keep the unity of the Spirit. Of course, some may be unrepentant and recastrant. We need to wisely deal with them. But the majority are not like that. I've been encouraging pastors not to prepare messages because of those people. They are in the minority. Once a while you may touch it. But don't let one or two that are disturbing you cause you to be working on series of messages. You'll be disturbing the majority because the majority are not like that. So in this teaching, I want to bring to fore the fact that the focus of the church doesn't change despite the struggles of righteousness. The focus of the church does not change. We are struggling for righteousness. Yet, the focus does not change. There could be offenses here and there. But 2 Timothy 2, 19 is settled in heaven. See, I'm saying that there could be offenses here and there. But the written word of God and what God is expecting from you is settled in heaven. God solid foundation stands firm sealed with this inscription the Lord knows those who are his and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness so I don't move to become a wicked person because someone offended me no, the offenses may come but the focus is still the same. Intimate God's not... solid foundation stands firm. Everyone who names the name of God must depart from iniquity. I don't insult because he provoked. No. God's solid foundation stands firm. His standard for you it's a status. It's like a statue. Nothing changes it. And for you, you should rise to the occasion and be someone who is a hero in the fight. There are offenses everywhere. But the standard does not change. I'm praying that we don't just be Christians who are bearing with one another, but who are shining in the midst. Of the struggles. Hallelujah. Amen. Just want you to stand up wherever you are and pray that God. Give me that strength.
Let, let me live beyond reproach. Ah, let me live beyond reproach. Let me shine like stars in the sky. Let's pray. And God, make me that fence. Make me that fellow. Make me that kind of a wife. Make me a shining example in my local assembly. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Let people look up unto me for righteousness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me not change to be a wicked fellow because of the provocation of this brother. Because I know that your foundation stands sure. Lord, help me. Let's pray. Let's pray. Oh, Father, help us, Lord. Father, help us, Lord. Father, help us, Lord. Sometimes we come to our wit end. But Lord, grant us grace that will shine like stars in the midst of this dark world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please have your seats. How many of you want to be good Christians? Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing your hands. So. <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. God bless you. Now, many years ago, Charles Haddon Spurgeon, friend Charles Haddon Spurgeon made this statement. I want to quote it. Oh, Christian people, be holy. Oh, a Christopher, for Christ is holy. If it's a Christopher, do not pollute that holy name wherein you were named. Let your family life, your personal life, your business life be as holy as Christ. Your Lord would have would have it to be. Shall saints be shams when sinners are so real? So Unquote. But I want to take it again. Can you just push it a bit forward so that we can read the letters? There are few may find it difficult. Will it be easy? If not, okay. Yeah, but some of the S's and the I's are. Yes, fine, fine. Now I can see that. Uh, <laughs> after I can read. Yes, okay. So let's read together. I mean, kind of All Christian people, be holy. For Christ is do not pollute that holy name wherein you are named. Let your family life, your personal life, your business life be as holy as Christ your Lord would have it to be. Shall saints be shams when sinners are so real? Unquote. The answer is no. And why not any Debbie? But I want to bring two points out of this. Now the first one is, do not pollute the name wherein you are named. So by virtue of the fact that we are born again, we have derived our name from his name. See, in the Ten Commandments, it was stated emphatically that we shouldn't, we should make the name of the Lord holy. And then when Jesus was teaching us to pray, he says that we, when we are praying, we should say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. But the good thing is that we have been named after him. So let's go to Ephesians 3, verse 14 and 15. Let's take it from King James Version. 
Dunai and Idunum. Yes, Ephesians 3, 14 from the King James. Shall we read together? For this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the 15 is the big one. Of whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named. So God, the whole family, then he says that some are in heaven and some are on earth. So says that all of us are named after him. And so Spurgeon is saying that in our lives, in our living, in our work as Christians, we should not pollute the name wherein we are named. When Jesus said, Hallowed be thy name in the, in the Lord's prayer, he was not saying that we should just pray and say, Father, hallowed be thy name. But in our walk, we should hallow the name. We should set it apart as holy. So, yes, we pray and say, Nidin and Huntia, and O Yankopo di Huntia, and I trace Yakwai, and I am nineteen in the Muni Yanche, say, Ben my din, and what we are doing. And the second point I want to bring to four is this the last statement. Yeah, Tosum, you know, no, a war, and since I am a crack or crack on. Shall sins be shams when sinners are so real? So I want to for Edwin Suban Pano Ebe Hinta Bra at the one year for you one year at two When we say someone is sham, the Yakase will be a debris be a shep. It only means that it is something that is not what is it purports to be. Not as I dare no said yet, Yankasan, and you suit any year to honor. So he is saying that. Should Christians be pretenders no, okay. when sinners are so real? Not just say a jiddy for yen super and pano as I say, ye yano katasum wemwaso. Bra at the boy for the end year, wo ye trepefe. You see, Charles Pagan, the one who made this statement, was not an angel. Charles Pagan, your cans are same way no one yeah bofu. Now he was agreeing with scripture and suggesting to all of us that we can live above reproach. In the midst of the offenses of in this perverse generation. Now, oh, Jina, Yamia Samso, I say, you cry and say, Oh, we are see how ne a manian ninia, a titty say, Muno, you bet man, and Timudium said, Jiddy for. No, Christians, he challenged us. No, say, you cry, said, Jiddy for. Should not be pretenders. And says, ye nipa, ye boy and brass, ye cutter, ye yam some panoso. Christians got to be real. As I said, ye ye in suban panotere. Their commitment to the principles of Christ, despite offenses. I would do a word to on one chair at the Amma Christo Nina Sosemono and found any near Betra one way. She got to be real as I see you super in the midst of offenses. Well, how near money I try and wish you. So far as this church is on earth, there will be offenses. Yes, as if we was as you so dear, but near Bethlehem. But don't let those things change. Now, so men must know my answers. We got to be real. As I see, you and Suban Panedi. Let people know that we are Christians. Then you put who say Jidi for a Christo for na yeni. Because say sinners are real. It sounds like Adibon ya for the one for one day. Sometimes the way the way they display their their sinfulness. I told you be a senior. We we see you on nebone etre no. We have lost all sensitivity. Yeah, we are hunting you now. Ayira, and then they do it. Then so, oh yeah. Then they brag about it. Now what the two on who cry? And so this boxer bragging that he has left with over five hundred uh, ladies, and then he started mentioning some names. And and so, okay, me, me the man is real. <laughs> And so Christians got to be real. We ought to be the same everywhere, anywhere, anytime in holiness. Now, honoring the name wherein we have been named. And brothers, we can. We need that consciousness. That we ought to be real. Don't let that sister disturb you 
uh, to the point that you leave that assembly and join another assembly. Be there and be real. Offenses do not come from one's self. But from happenings around them. See, offenses do not come from within us. Offenses are happening. Whether the offense tends to be bitterness depends on your attitude towards the offense. And the ability to overcome these offenses is the strength one has in the inner man. Now, you to so and So, working to strengthen the inner man is the only way to ensure that there is glory in the church despite offenses. Despite petty quabbles, squabbles, and abuses that easily occur and cause offense in the church community. Now let's take this verse from Ephesians 3 verse 16. I'll read from 16 to 19. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Now, this is Paul praying for his church. That I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through the Spirit in your inner being. Now be praying this prayer for yourself. That God strengthen me through your spirit in my inner being. So that Christ may dwell in my heart or in your heart through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the lost people to grasp how wide, long, and high, and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love, that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. See, knowing very well the weaknesses and the issues in the local churches, now, and the temptation that befalls the believer, the apostle Paul, Praise for them. And in social food, a type by a GD for Quemuno, Smuffle Paul, no bomb pie amo. That they will be strengthened in the inner man. So we'll be young one day with a money penny more. So that they will have power through the Holy Spirit. When I'm on Concrons to end to me to bear with one another. I want to me as one who I want this one to live a life worthy of the calling that we have all received. Now, I want to me at Tanas, a senior frau, what they are free one at here. I pray that we, we, leave, we lift ourselves a bit and live above reproach. Ephesians 4 verse 1. So we are going to look at the fact that the solid foundation is there. And we, we have the calling that we, we actually have to rise to meet the standard for which the calling demands of us. Ephesians 4 verse 1 says, As a prisoner for the Lord then, I'll urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Paul now, this is not apostolic calling. 
Now it is not uh, called to be or uh, appointed to be dickness. <laughs> when I was in Tamale, we were going to ordain offices. And so I have this practice of always going to uh, the venue of the occasion, maybe an hour before, just to check and then go back and organize myself and then come to for the occasion because sometimes you can be disappointed and so when i got there i saw this lady actually working very hard organizing the place arranging the chair she was doing very well and i knew her i thought it was a very good place and so i really loved it but she, I like the way she, she was passionate about it. Ah, but I said, Yes, I did. Did they add your name to the list? And I maybe said, Ah, me, I do ding. I can't want what church you wouldn't want. They didn't tell me, they didn't tell us that they want thickness. So one can't tell you, said, Well, person for my. But I said, They don't make that announcement. So you work very hard. Maybe next year they will, they will add you to the list. I was in the mood and I said, I wish I got it this year. Yeah, I wish I had it this year. I wish I had it this year. Yeah, but this calling is not dick for dickness. As prisoners of the law, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have and the word there is received. So what calling have we received? Which is greater than the apostolic call. What calling? Second Timothy one verse nine. Timothy He has saved us. Now saved us and called us to a holy life. He has saved us and called all of us. To a holy life. So, despite all the abuses, the offenses, try and maintain your posture as a man who has been called to live a holy life. First Thessalonians 4, verse 7. Please. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. A holy life is not a life without adultery and fornication. But a life that the Holy Spirit is comfortable to dwell in. Now, all these teachings that we've been bringing up so far, bitterness and offenses are concerned, we have not been dwelling on fornication, adultery, those things that we think that they are big. We are talking about little forces. So a holy life is a life that the Holy Spirit is comfortable to dwell within. Matthew 3, verse 16 and 17. Now I want you to pay attention to this scripture. Matthew 3, verse 16 and 17. 
As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. It was a sign and um, seeing a dove coming from heaven or from the skies in itself is something else. But doves, they don't come from the earth. They come from the skies. But what makes it this one? A bit of a sign is that doves are very sensi sensitive birds. And this sensitive bird, if, if you blink your eye, it will fly away. But in the midst of the, the, uh, the, the crowd, this dove rests comfortably on the head of Jesus without flying away. That one alone is a sign that the dove is so comfortable on the head of this man. Now, verse 17 says this. A voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love. With him, I'm well pleased. With him. That statement means that it is comparing him and others. So with this one, I am well pleased. That is why the dove will perch comfortably on his head. I pray that with you, God will also be well pleased. So I'm praying that with you, God will also be well pleased. All Christian people, be holy. For Christ is holy. Do not pollute that holy name wherein you are named. Let your family life, your personal life, your business life be as holy as Christ your Lord will have it to be. Just sins be shams when sinners are so real. So, a GD4 and a Christopher, the one Brabo, Pa Ebe Hinta, Brand the Boyan for a you one day at two God's solid foundation stands firm. Sealed with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his. And let everyone that confesses the name of the Lord depart from wickedness. Now, your spouse may offend you. But remember that God's solid foundation stands firm. And that the Lord knows those who are his. Let everyone that mentions the name of the Lord depart from wickedness. Your boss may be spiteful. But God's solid foundation stands for it. God's solid foundation does not change. Your colleague is acrimonious, very malicious. But God's solid foundation stands firm. It doesn't mean anything. Let them do what they are doing. But for us, we must stand on the foundation. See, that brother may be unbearing. Overbearing, as you say. So that brother may be overbearing. But see, God's solid foundation stands firm. The Lord knows those who are his. Let everyone that names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. It is true that that man took advantage of you. It is true. 
But you see, now so share God's solid foundation. When you make the fap him, no still stands firm. A dead jina de jina. The Lord knows those who are here. When you mean the one where you are, let everyone that name the name of the Lord. Be be around, but a ready day, you know, depart from iniquity. And you know, it doesn't mean go and kill the man. And found and just a corner for cool. No, deal with it if you want to do it according to the law. But beyond that. Remember that God's solid foundation still stands The sister is disrespectful. But God's solid foundation stands firm. See, the principle of holy living is never expect righteousness from the other person, but you don't fail to give it. Let us not just be bearing with one another, but in the midst of all the challenges, let us shine as stars. So you cannot say, I was hungry. So I yielded to him. No, no, no. Be real. Be a Christian. You're Christian. You cannot say that I didn't have money, so I picked the coins. No. Be a Christian. Be real. You Whether a familiar person is around or not. Be real. Don't be sham. Be a Christian. And be real. See, it is the duty of Christians to keep away from polluting influences. And if they do, the reward is special honor. It, the reward is not special honor and special privilege, but special service. Okay. So pay attention to this It is the duty of Christians. To keep away from polluting influences. Because there will be influences that will try to pollute you. So keep away and keep the standard. If you do that, the reward is not special honor. Neither is it special privilege. But special service. 2 Timothy 2, verse 20 and 21. In a large house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for special purposes and some for, un for common, common use. Now, if you can see a Nisika and a greater woman, a Mia and a Dottia, dear, and so a woman. Yes. Now, the big one, the next verse. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. Now, say, Instruments for special purpose. Made holy. Useful for the master. And prepared to do good work. I hope you want to be an instrument in the hands of God. A special instrument. Then 
keep it away from pollution. Because the master is seeking for such people. The master is aware of the pollution in the churches. He is aware of the offenses. But he's watching those who have been able to keep their way out. Keep themselves away from the pollution. Then heaven will select them for special service. I pray that it will be me. And I pray that it will be you. So we are saying that we don't have to be bearing with one another alone. But in the midst of all the pollution, let us shine like stars in the dark sky.